So I'm at Pioneer Valley Indoor Karting. Uh, I'm not really dressed for this. I came up to visit Matt and Sydney. Yeah, Matt the mechanic. <laughs> they told me I'm going to a country club, but uh, otherwise I would have worn my Sparco suit. But let's see how I can do it. I did bring the GoPro and let's see how I do. I've never done indoor karting with a gas engine before. So uh, let's see how it goes. So there we are, about to start. Gotta try to memorize this whole racing line here, but uh, let's see how it goes. Can you grab the wheel for me? Do you like your seat or pedals adjusted, or does this feel pretty good? Um, maybe the seat a little bit forward. Alright, good. I'm gonna loosen, loosen this up a little bit, and then I'll have you grab the wheel and pull. And if you pull, your seat should be able to move right up. That sounds, that feels uh, good, very good. Alright. Thank you, brother. Of course. This is gonna buckle in right down there. It's gonna be another strap. Gotcha. All right, you guys all set? You guys good? All We're right, good. I'm gonna have all you guys hold your foot on the brake all the way down, please.
supposed to spin it out, but it helps a lot. The brake before the corners. Again, I'm probably gonna get hate in the comments for the the braking, but because you want, you want to be straight when you brake, and then whip it tighter, follow the racing line out. But <laughs> Whew. guess we'll call that round one untrained driver. Not bad. So Matt, what do you think, brother? How was it? Good man. How'd I do? I think you were catching up to me a little bit if I was looking at you. I was trying. That was intense, I have to admit. Not bad, not bad. So, uh, just behind Matt, considering he literally has made a career out of driving, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, a couple laps were faster. My, not counting the first, of course. My best lap was certainly up there within his times, and Sydney was not far behind. She definitely made some improvements.
so there you have it. Indoor karting was a success. I uh, really want to thank Matt and Sydney for treating me to my first day of gas-powered indoor karting, even though I was definitely surprised and extremely underprepared. Uh, I really had a great time. We learned a lot, and now you guys can see what happens when an experienced racing driver and a decent self-taught back road driver like myself uh, start the same kind of sport at the same exact time. Uh, unfortunately, though, even though we did three runs, uh, I'll post the times in the description, but the, the second and third runs, I had to switch the position of my GoPro so I could see better, and unfortunately, the viewing angle was just above the steering wheel, so I didn't really turn out. I will put those in a Patreon video below so you guys can see and compare the actual times, and you can hear the engine, and I guess you can hear how I wasn't braking as much, wasn't squeaking the wheels as much, and that did technically translate to better times. Uh, another thing I want to point out is if you do indoor karting, do what I did and what Matt did is try to speak to the employees there. Um, I spoke to the employees that had the top two track records. Obviously, they they work there, so they, they're very familiar with the best techniques, and that really brought down our times dramatically. Just asking him how to, you know, when to brake, when to hit the gas, when to let off the throttle, and their version of their own kind of modified racing line, in my opinion, provided the best results of the day. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate the continued support. Definitely go try indoor karting, and I'll see you in the next one.